Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Up to now we have seen how to render that component template using the native element and the debug element we have seen. So fine. So as this post component.ts is a simple component. Why? Because it does not have any dependencies. The guy does not have any constructor. It does not have any dependencies and so it does not have any child components also. So here you will be able to see some router link directive. That's it. So one directive is there, but we are not, but we, we are not able to see any comp child components. So that means this post component is a simple component. So let's try to move it to little bit more complicated. Okay. Little bit more advanced. You'll try to see. So now we want to create the test bed component, which has a child components and which has a dependencies. Let's try to see it. So if you go to the post.component.ts file, here we have a service. Okay. So it has a dependencies that is post service. And also if you go to this HTML thing and here also you are having one child component. It, de it depends on the, it has a app post. There is nothing but a single post component.ts. So which we have seen it earlier. Now here the post.component.html file has the child component and also has a one dependencies. So now we can use this post component, okay, to write the some more complicated test cases. That means seeing about this, uh, what I can say about this uh, child component and also resolving these dependencies and all those things. Let's try to see in this video. So before continuing to this one, we have already created the test bed and all those things. We have seen here how to create the test bed and its dependencies using the test bed. We have seen it. Now here we took the post component as a service. So we have checked the, we have, we have tested the post components, taking it as a service. That means we have checked only the class module post class thing only, but now we need to use the test bed as a component, as a shallow unit testing integration test. That means we need to test the component class as well as the template. Also, we need to test it. Now this type of configuration of the test bed is not suitable. So what we need to do, we need to change the configuration of the test bed so that we can check the component class as well as the combining with the template thing. So let's try to modify this test bed. So what we have did it earlier. So for modifying this one, what we need to do first, we need, we should not add it in the providers. So where we need to change it, we need to change it in the declarations. So I am changing in the declarations here. So this is the post component. I have changed it to declarations. And now previously we have used the class implementation. So previously we have used this class implementation. So how the people, some people instead of creating a spy object, how the people, how, how we can do in another way also. So right now I am not using this mock post service, this class and all those things. I will try to use this Jasmine create spy object as we are well aware of this one. And also we have did some course in the Jasmine also spying and all those things. Let's try to use this mock post service and here. If you are using the spy object, we need to change it to use value. Okay. Now here we are, why, why we are getting this problem is we need to change it to mock post service. So we need to initialize the variable. That's it. So now we have changed here mock post service. It is using. So right now we don't have, we don't want this one. So instead of injecting the post component, so injecting the post component means we will, it will inject into the service, into the component. So sorry, as a service. So, but we need to create a component. So if you want to create a component, what you need to do? Create component. You need to use the create component of post component. So this is the component you need to do. So now whenever you use this test bed dot create component, what it will be created? It will create a fixture, not a component. So let's initialize to fixture. So now we initialize the fixture. Let's initialize it here at the top. Let fixture is equal to sorry fixture it is of type component fixture okay and of type post component okay that's it sorry component fixture of post component so now completed so now we got the fixture now we need to get the component so here how can we why because we need to access the component properties and the methods so in order to get the component instance so what we can do here component is equal to fixture dot okay fixture dot component instance okay so this is the component now if you try to see if you come down component dot post so here we are using the mock post service so we need to re-enable it here again and we need to use the mock post service 
and another one is so here we can change it yeah here we don't want to spy on why because we are already created a spy object so automatically when we create a spy object spying will already will be done so here it will be mock post service so there is no need to mention the spy again so that's it so we now we have renamed this one to and also we now we have rename uh, we have changed this test bed to the component declaration now let's try to see that one whether all the tests are working fine or not so here we are able to see it fine and here also it is executing successfully the post component here we are able to get it now if you go here okay into the post.component.ts file so this is the component and here if you try to see this is the get post method okay so this get post method whenever we call the service get post method okay whenever we call the service get post method so here get post method so this is coming from the post service whenever we call this get post method so it is adding the post data to the component post property and this get post method when it will be called when we whenever ng on it that means component is initialized so this ng on it if you call this ng on in it so this get dot post is will be executed and this component post will be added so let's try to check the let let's try to test this get post service whenever we whenever this get post is called so that means ng on in it is called so this this get post method has to add the post data into the post property component post property so let's try to do it so here what i can do is let's try to see it so here i am writing so this is another this is test suite so here i am writing here it should set post from the service directly instead of instead of adding component dot post is equal post we are we need to set the post data directly from the service so now here okay first get post so we are having a mock post service okay get post is a mock post service so first we will set this return value so that means mock post service dot mock post service dot get post dot and dot return value so we are setting the return value so what is the return value it need to do of of so we have already the post data so we are writing here the post data that's it so now whenever the use whenever this test case calls the get post in this test case it will return the post as an observable now when this get post is called if you try to see here when ng on init is called so for uh, so when we can call this ng on init so one thing what you can do is you can where is this one where it is gone yeah you can do component dot ng on it you can call directly like this ng on it so that get post will be called or otherwise whatever you can do is picture dot detect changes so whenever you call this detect changes also ng on it will be called so now what i need to do expect component so now the component post property dot length should be equal to 3 why because so we have assigned the post data so this length is having only 3 so we need to check that without directly adding here component component dot post is equal to so without adding directly like this so if we are make we are checking that whether this ng on in it is directly setting the post data in the component property or not so we are trying to check like this so now it should set post directly from the service okay So directly from the service or anything, so it should set the post from the service directly. Oh yeah, already we have written it here. Okay, now let's try to see the output. If you try to see the output, so where is the post component? Here, see, you will be able to see it should set post from the service directly. It is directly setting the post from the service. Now, if you try to change it, the component length. So sorry, the post length to four. Now let's try to see. It will throw an error. why because so we are having the only the posts of 3 but it we are checking with the 4 so now we are able to test it correctly and we are able to confirm that this ng on it whenever we call this post service get post method in this component so this service will set the component property post to the data so the by this one we are able to identify the test case so this is how we will be writing the test case so for this one okay so now we have tested the independent uh, what i can say injected service also we have tested using the test bed 
so this is how we will be writing hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you